Hey you guys, welcome to my how to passion plan video. Um, yeah, so the quote this week is who question much shall learn much and retain much. So I hope y'all retain everything I tell y'all in this video. So um, this is my gold passion planner. It's my baby if you know me. Um, and I'm really just going to be showing you guys how I get to um, these colorful, beautiful pages that I have for every week. Um, basically going from a blank page to this, um, kind of customizing it. So, first thing you have to do is go to the week that you're on, obviously. And then the things that you are going to need are highlighters. Um, it doesn't matter what brand, but just make sure that the colors are bright. That way you know this one. Um, the second thing that you're going to need is a black ballpoint pen. Um, the third thing that you're going to need are washable markers. And these are from Crazy Art. And I think they were like three or four dollars i got them in my christmas video actually um so the fourth thing that you're gonna need is really just a straight edge so for me i just use my id because i always have my id with me but you can like use your debit card or you know the side of a book or whatever you want to use so the first thing that i do is set my focus for the week and sometimes you have to think about it but don't worry um my focus for the week was really just to finish the Dear High School Girls series. So that's what I'm going to write in the top corner. And I just put hearts and polka dots everywhere. Um, and then all I'm going to do is start working on my days of the week. So um, since I'm doing this on Monday, I'm just going to put what I did on Sunday. And all I did was clean up. And if you follow me on Snapchat, then you know. All I was doing was like cleaning my room from like, I don't even know, like six in the afternoon or in the evening till like three or four o'clock in the morning. Like I washed all my makeup brushes. I put all my clothes up. I still need to wash clothes, but my room was like a complete mess. Like I think that's low-key why I'm not recording in it. Um, and I finally cleaned it up. So I'm really proud of myself and that took really long. So um, when you're decorating your passion planner, just be as creative as you like. I think it looks really good for like borders um and i just keep it simple just hearts polka dots stripes things that are easy and quick to do um i don't really do anything too intricate unless it's like a holiday or something so with this i just did um thick letters and i just um put polka dots on the end of each letter so the next thing that i do is i put the mandatory things in my schedule that i have to go to um i outline them in black so basically on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I have a 9, 10, and 11. And then on Tuesdays, um, I have a 9, 30, and an 11. And on Thursdays, I have a 9, 30, and then I have a 12, 30 to 2, 50, and I have a 3 o'clock to 4, 30. Um, and I also have that same 3 o'clock to 4, 30 on Tuesdays as well. Um, and so I reference previous pages for the colors of my classes. Um, so biology is green, trigonometry is pink. Um, U.S. History is purple, PSD is blue, botany is yellow, and comp is orange. Um, so then I put in another mandatory thing that I have to do, which is my work schedule. Um, and I just kind of box that just to give myself an idea of like when I have to go to work. And I just scribble in um, basically my work schedule for the week. So I put it in red because it's a mandatory thing, like I have to be at work. Um, so then I just fill it in with the word work. Um, the next thing I do is I put in meetings and other things that I have to be at. So I have my student activities board meeting, my ambassador meeting, um, and I fill those things in. And then after that, I put in other things that I have to be at. So, um, for this, I was putting the pageant practice for my crown that I'm giving up, Miss Fashionetta. Um, and that practice is every day, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, from four to six. So. I'm just putting that in there, um, and it kind of overlaps with other things, so I put it underneath the mandatory thing. Um, so then I just put in places that I have to go, or like if I'm going to party, or I'm traveling, then I put those things in, and so I need to wash clothes, so I want to steal water, um, so I can wash my clothes. Um, so really, I use the top section for like tests and assignments and projects, um, and what I like to do is I carry over the things from the personal to-do list from previous weeks um, and put that on the new week if I didn't accomplish them. So I'm putting down all of the old things that I didn't accomplish from last week as well as all of the new things 
that I need to do. Um, and I do the same thing for work as well as stuff that I already know I need to do since this is Monday. Um, I just fill those things out and I'm just Xing out the things that I accomplished on Sunday. Um, and so I just write something good down in my good things that happen. Um, and the good thing that happened is I made my fashion planner video. So um, I'm putting in some more traveling, which is going to Denton for how T-Walk say Denton, you know, um, just some traveling. And then that's pretty much, I mean, how I do my planner from week to week. I do this on Sunday every day. Um, and then after I get done with it on Sunday, I just wrap it up and I keep it in my purse or my book bag for the week. That way, um, whenever somebody tells me about an event, I just whip it out, you know what I'm saying? And I just put it in my passion planner and it works every time. It works every time. So um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next Coffee Cream video.